Yeah. <laughs> Everybody had a chance to go through claims. Yeah, like I said, the voucher you guys explained it. The other one was a spelling error. Uh, so I guess we can talk to Doug. <clears throat> Maybe they need to start changing their own oil. But it's done, it's over with. Yep. And IT, like I said, he ain't here, so. Yeah. But I know Derek, it's legit. I was just curious what it's for. And we motion to approve. Approve the agenda minutes and claims. Mr. Casey, you second that? Second. I have a motion and second on the claims. And the agenda and the minutes. Did you guys talk about the Mid American Energy for the Board of Supervisors? It's got 1308 twice. Very first page. Looks like it's double. I'm turning. You got two meters there. You got one for the front, one for the back, the old part. No. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it's a meter charge because it's. It looks like it's doubled. It looks like it's put in twice. So. We're done. Be the same account. Well, the front part yeah. is twenty-seven ninety-nine. Yeah, the next one's twenty-eight hundred. Well, there is two there. You've got to go across the tracks. There's a meter sheriff side. They're the exact same numbers for everything. Yeah. 1308, 1308 is 2616. Right. And it went to the same, same account. But it's all the same number for the invoice. Yeah, but if it went to the same account, it would be the same number. But you're not going to have the exact same electricity. Or that is just propane. that's just a meter charge. That's just a half the juice, or just that's not it. not for electric. That's for probably there, yeah. There's got to be some sort of electricity used there in a month. It is an electric. I don't think it's meter charge. Or is it propane? In America, it's not deal with propane. She's checking. In America, be natural gas yeah. or electricity. Have you gotten a nasty fight, Phil? You lost. I lost. <laughs> Maybe I guess if I can see it's just leaving. So. Hello. <laughs> What'd you have done, Phil? I had a surgery on my hand. What they all say that same thing Donnie has. Like, yeah, this wrap up. Like, yeah, same damn thing. Is it really? Yeah, that was a nat kind of a tough surgery. Yeah, they tell you the same thing. You can't drive for you couldn't drive for X amount of days. No, they didn't tell you that. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> otherwise, he wouldn't be here. It's, don't make sense. Your hand, you still got the other one to drive with. I'm right here. So, right. why'd you fix the left one then? That. Yeah. Good good argument. It says right on there fuel, so I'm pretty sure it's a meter charge for L or natural gas. B where we got it. Yeah. One and got another one. Yeah, maybe two meters. Just check it. I think the other thing I was going to ask about was the tax, but you might have been talking about that when I got it. But it's for land. That's for the county farm? or Gravity. Well, no, I think most of that's for the county farm. And oh, then okay. one of them's for, the last yeah. one is a TIF district in the city that the county owns something. Where at? I didn't ask Connie. She just said it was in the city of Algona and it was a $6 because of a TIF district. And if you wanted to know more, we had to talk to Nick, and he's not here today.
Okay. That's my thought. Sorry. Thank you. Richard. So we scratch one of them? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'll, I'll adjust that for a moment. Okay. Oh, all those in favor say aye. Are you uh, aye. amending the motion? Yes, yeah, second the amendment. Oh, sorry. Yeah, for a second. All, right. all those in favor say aye. 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 Did I did. Oh, it's sign on the other side. Robert got sign. That's why I was wondering what your signature was. I didn't add, put it over on the other side then. Change vote for twice. You have two signatures. I had twice. One example. He's got another one coming here. Well, So they're not the same. They're 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 two different ones. Um, mine you know, is again. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go back and pull them out and look at them. One's one's for each side of the track. Yeah. <laughs> one's for one side, one's for the other building. Yeah. Yeah. So, so well, this one says Paul Street, that one says Phillips. So I don't know. Melissa just explained to me which which way they were. But they are definitely the same price. Well, yeah, it's just the meter charge. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's just the meter charge. Well, yeah. Two different meters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you. So, so we'll have to go back to the original motion. Does your original motion stand, Jack? Uh, okay. We'll go back and amend the motion on the go, Jack. agenda minutes and claims. I'll second and, it. Uh, and approve it. To the original claims. So, Jack, in case of your original motion stands? Yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Donna, you're up. Yep. Yeah. And is to accept the resignation of her mental health advocate. She submitted her resignation, I guess we technically got it Thursday. We're doing an exit interview this afternoon at 1 30 over the annex. Yeah, so, a bunch of people interested or not? It hasn't been posted yet. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's not as soon as it's posted. We, we, we need a mental health advocate. We're mandated, we legally, we're mandated to have right. a mental health advocate. So, are you going to? Post for that position. Does everybody ex acknowledge that? Yeah. And I need a motion to approve the res resignation of the mental health advocate. And I would so move. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Stecker. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried unanimous. Anything else on the subject? Last time we did have an intern, intern advocate, um, Abby Walling did it. Uh, I would want to reach out just to see if she would. I think that would probably be appropriate. Is her last day today? It was already. I think she thought she was done Wednesday when she sent the resignation to Sarah. Um, I got it. 
<laughs> so she turned her phone and computer. She did not. I did ask her to bring it. She was going to bring it to me. I think she, I thought she got a printer too. Yeah, she probably did give it to me. I don't know if it actually came, but I think they did. Yeah, did they I was in here when they were setting it up. Okay. But she had an email that said she was going to bring it in last she week. She did say she was going to bring it in Thursday, and I did not see her. So if you, so if you checking, checking published brings it one of the is it is it in our handbook for two weeks notice or anything specific? It's not I, mandated. It's suggested, but we have had other people. And that is something we're meeting. The handbook committee is meeting. Wednesday, 830 and section 2.2 is where we're going to start and some wording that could. But, but, you know, I think she was a little confused that she thought she could do both jobs. For a while. I'm not sure. It was what it sounded like. <laughs> well. Yep, yeah, keep yeah. us informed, post it, and thank you, Don. Thank, oh, I got something else. You're oh, you do? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Um, we have talked about the safety um, meeting, the annual safety meeting on yeah. October 10th, which is a Monday, Columbus Day. Um, I've kind of done two sketch. Well, I guess there's three agendas. That the, the first two are like three hours, and then we rotate the staff. Um, Getting in the distracted driving, slips, trips, and falls, and harassment, which are requirements that we do, at least that I know that we do annually, or that was the distracted driving and the slips, trips, and falls. Our work count audit recommended those. Harassment is a policy, I believe, that we're supposed to be offering. Uh, just giving a brooding blurb on the COVID action plan, which is just going to the CDC website. We are ordering um, fire escape ladders for each office, um, this floor and the next floor. And then Chris had talked about stop the bleed and then our law enforcement presentation where they talk about courthouse safety. I guess the, the ultimate thing is the last page is if we were to do a full day for the staff, we would throw in the cybersecurity um, CPR go to an actual demonstration of courthouse security versus just the presentation. Those times are a little fluid. I started the breakfast earlier because the uh, wellness said they would do it like the on the breakfast. Again, kind of got time frames. Mr. Holmes back there is going to speak. Uh, Glenn from the Iowa State Patrol. I don't have his last name, I'm sorry. Um, Derek would do the cyber myself. And Chris Lawson, which I got the fire escape ladders. Chris would do stop the bleed CPR. And then Duffy Rademaker and company would do the law enforcement presentation. I guess the call to my question today is do you prefer a spring do the rotations, cut out a few things, or do the full day? So you mean be open or closed? Closed would probably be if we did the if we did the full day, we'd be closed because all the staff would be that are here. I know there's one department that already has some training out of town and, and we're not going to ever get everybody to do that. I was told that it's a court day. Yeah, that's it is, it is, that is to the courthouse is a court day. Yeah. But it's just yeah, and I did talk to um, Tammy and then Taylor. That's why we would do just an afternoon presentation. I guess the staff on these two floors would be over at the election building. The only problem even with the afternoon is it's I have no idea. Usually my Stephanie and my work are done in the mornings, but they still have civil matters too. Right. So the court will be in session all day. I can't tell you there would be anything scheduled for the afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. it was kind of, like, kind of fluid because we've talked to Sandy and, and Taylor on. Yeah, I, I should be able to get away to do the presentation, but I don't know about closing. Right? And that's my concern. We don't necessarily have to close the courthouse. You don't have to. No. I think it just would be staff would be all day at that training, and then it would be very. Um, we would have to be sensitive to what the demonstration law enforcement was if we were to do that in the afternoon. If we were to do it, or they could just go to each building, or each office. 
Is it going to be like that thing running around the courthouse, shooting it up? Um, you know, one of the things that the important is to have obviously the clerk's office involved in that. Right, and that's what I got to talk about. That can be maybe later in the afternoon. Typically, again, I can't speak for October 10th, but typically, you know, there's less right. in the later afternoon. Yeah, and that was what we put it at three, two or three, well, two, ten to three. Later, but well, on that on that third page, you got law enforcement presentation from one to two, and then another demonstration. The demonstration is in the afternoon, but that was starting at seven thirty. So again, I don't know if we probably get pushed. You got it from one to four on that other page. Would that work out better for you, Todd? Do you think in the afternoon? Or my presentation? Yeah. Well, it's one. To, we would do the morning for half the staff. Okay. For three hours and then mm -hmm. rotate in the afternoon so that the courthouse would keep not only open but be staffed. So the first two pages are the option if we're open. If we're open. The last page is if we're open. Okay, and exactly. when you say closed, I'm just saying so that the, all the staff would be over at the election building. I don't think necessarily here, but I was aware that it was district district motion day. In the fifth Friday of the month. The clerks don't have anything that happens to be the 30th and some taxes are due and Nick was pretty adamant that he'd be here for that. So it, there is not going to be a perfect time and it might have to be adjusted. This is just kind of a general few thoughts. Where do we start? How do we go? Where do you say CPR that day too? Pardon me? CPR. To the department that meeting last week and brought up, especially South of Lee. It's like she was going to say that. The 10th. Is there a different day that would work for everyone? If you could find that perfect day, I I give Shouldn't you that have. I give you that grace to do that. I don't know that we will ever find a perfect day to do it. And again, I'm not saying this is a perfect agenda, but I thought if I had something to start with, we could destroy it or scratch it or say yay or nay to one. Are we open on October 10th? Yeah, that's we are open. We that's why we picked that day is because a lot of people don't know we're open because it's a holiday. So it's usually a, it's usually a lighter traffic day, but but it's not it's not a guarantee and then we do have the motion day. So it's it's a balance on it's a good day because there's not a lot of people coming here. It's not, I don't think, again, I don't know how it'll it's true. The, the court don't take the plums day off. We don't officially either. No. Yeah. It's just kind of one of those. And I don't think we're going to get anybody to come in like on a holiday no. when we are officially closed. <laughs> so, so which. What's your pleasure? <clears throat> I would lean more towards the first two, keeping things open oh. that way for anyone that does come in or for all of these other two. That'd be my choice. Casey, what's your name? I have no deep. I have, deep. I don't care. Be cold to either. It sounds like majority would like to do the half a days. And rotate. Yep. And then whoever can come can come. We are not going to get it for everybody. No. You can do the mandatory meetings. And I don't think that that's ever worked. That's all I needed. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Don. Thanks, so. Don. Thank you. Uh, you made a decision on that? No, if we were going to close, we would, but since we're going to stay the same, okay. we all right. Thank you. Thanks, Don. EMS. Oh, we got the creations for that vehicle. Yep. Um, so I've been trying to get bids for that. Good luck. Yeah, I did give one from Kim was they did give me a bid. Official bid that says. I did check some other places. I can check with Carl Chevrolet down in eight and eight. Uh, Carl would not even give me a bid. So I have one bid. Guidance, what do you want me to do? It's in the county. 
Yes. If you if you tried, that at least said something. I I think you just accept the bid. And I have the emails from Carl's. So I can keep on file to show they declined the bid. Yeah, yeah, that at least we can at least you looked and gave it. Right. I mean, with the supply chain the way it is, you can do what you can do. Right. And bids were paid with all the amount of money that we received, so. Do you, do you think we need a motion on the purchase from Ken? No, I think we should have a motion. Yeah, do you have the paperwork in there? Yeah, I do. We didn't make a copy of it yet, but I can get everybody a copy of it. What? We have the amount. Yeah. yeah. 54, 495. What kind of vehicle is it? It's a 2023 Chevy Suburban LS four wheel drive. Cost seats. So we have 54, 495, 2023 Chevy Suburban LS four wheel drive. The motion would be to approve such vehicle. I'd make that motion. Stecker makes the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Platt. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. You guys want me to email your copy of this so you have a copy of that participation? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yep. Todd, you're up. Regarding DD7? Yes. Um, last week, I had a conversation uh, with an attorney who uh, does a lot of plaintiff's work for uh, legal malpractice actions. His name is Max Kirk, uh, Ball Kirk and Holmes, Holm, H-O-L-M, in Waterloo, Iowa. Uh, and uh, he wanted me to send him a copy of the ruling on plaintiff's motion for some judgment, so I did. Um, and then we had a discussion about it, uh, and he his thoughts on it were that um, he would uh, uh, he wouldn't think that it would be advisable to go forward with a legal malpractice action. Um, and, and when you look at this, you look at it from the standpoint of okay, this don't make the determination as to whether or not there was or there wasn't. Let's look at the, the reality of the situation. Uh, he said that the, the case, um, if it were to go forward, would be highly defensible uh, based upon you know, the series of events that occurred. Uh, that an attorney who represents uh, a client, whether it be a board, whether it be a drainage district, whether it be, a, be an individual, um, does it on mainly a contingent fee. Uh, of 40 percent um, and that uh, that's just the attorney's fees you'd have to throw the uh, the expenses on top of it since it's highly defensible uh, in his opinion uh, that means that it's probably going to go at least from the outset you have to expect it to go the distance uh, which would be quite expensive uh, and given the potential recovery um, that he did and I, and I agreed with him in my discussion with him that uh, it, it didn't sound like it was uh, uh, one to pursue. But he said, I'm, he also said that I'm sure you could find an attorney out there that would do it, but you have to look at it from the economics as to whether or not that would be uh, the thing you'd want to go forward with. Uh, you have to also look at the fact that, you know, if it's uh, uh, defensible, uh, then, you know, it's questionable whether you're going to be collecting at the end. And if you add more to the drainage district expenses, it may not be a good idea. You don't think the people of DD7 would be very happy if we had a big attorney? Probably not. We said yeah, on top of that, we, another 100,000 on top. We got into the details, but I'm not going to share yeah. them um, public. You can do it in a closed session if you want, but no, no. I don't think that that's probably necessary. Yeah, no. Thank you, Todd. We appreciate yeah, no it. Problem. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
Sorry, it took a little while. Oh, that's all right. We're all busy. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 We have a proclamation of natural National Voter Registration Month. The Secretary of State's office sent all of us county auditors um, this proclamation asking that the Board of Supervisors approve it um, because September is National Voter Registration Month. Yeah. So that is, uh, we would like you guys to. Casey, you're, you're up. I'd make you want to make the motion? Means that you've got competition. Mr. Casey makes a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Do a roll call vote. Becker? Yes. Casey? Yeah. Yes. Jerks? Yes. Okay, we are up to approval or ARPA funds for transfer switch for the jail generator, handicap automatic doors of the annex building, and repair of sheriff's office inbound building. So the ARP committee approved all three of those. The first one is, is the door openers. There's two of them for the entrance door and the inside door because right now there's nothing and they're heavy doors. The second one is a transfer switch for the law enforcement generator. It's going out, so we're gonna have to replace it. So this is just whether it comes out of ARCO funds or it comes out of the sheriff's budget. And then um, the building that Roger Fisher is gonna be using as an impound building out at the UBC building needs insulation and, and a bunch of stuff. He was originally given the $25,000 for the live scan through ARPA funds, but then got a grant, so didn't use this. So this is actually an extra $25,000 that was already awarded to him. It's just going to be for a different purpose. So instead of the live scan, it's going to be for that. Purpose. If you is there any questions? I don't have any questions, but discussion wise, as far as the um, automatic door openers on the end is how much cheaper would it need to be for us to use a different local contractor for that? It's in your pockets, but a bit yeah, of a managing glass. There'll be more for the vets, on right? The answers on the end, yeah. it's be more for the vets. Yeah, and some of the people that have come in. For I like the Let's hit the vets one in here, so you know. I mean, you're helping two entities. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The local company doing it. They've done. They've done a lot of the work for us. And got some problems that we had. Other outside people. They're do. the ones that fix the doors. Or yeah, they the did it right. Yeah, I'm talking about another local one. There's two in town here. I know there's. So how much cheaper would it need to be for you guys to use that percentage wise? Well, last time you didn't even give us a bid. So actually, you did. Gave it three times. Well, no, it, it wasn't presented to us. Well, it wasn't presented here, but there's three of them. I'm pretty sure I still haven't gotten to here. Well, well, the bid don't come into this it room. Come it's in. a not plan. We don't receive it. So it was it was sent to our employee that was handling it. Never got in here. I'm aware of that. I'll move that we see our funds for the motion by plan. Second, I'll uh, second it. Any other discussion? Um, I got a price from the other local contractor in town here, and it was substantially lower. Yeah, but 
Did he know what the other company bid? You told no. him what they bid? Nope. What's substantial? I, I told him he was lower after he gave me a number, but I did not tell him the price. I never did. So are you presenting that bid to the board today? Oh, sure. It is $4,600 instead of 6,000. So yeah. over 20% cheaper. Is that from Algonquin Glass? Algonquin Glass. It says basically the same thing as the other one that 12 volt power would need to be supplied um, because that's listed in the one from American and it's both doors. Um, I can print it off if you'd like a copy. I have it in an email here, but. Well, I think we ought to table it because it's not on the agenda. I don't read it here. Well, it is under the art stuff. It's in that resolution. I do not see a bid from another company in front of me. I'm not yeah, that's because it. it wasn't presented to you. I'm not voting on it. As you'd always say, I abstain because it's not in front of me. Would you three guys go? Well, I think you can vote on two and take the one and table it till next week when we see two bids. I would go for that, but I will not vote on the buttons on the door. Yeah, but I think it will be all right to. Oh, well, you already made a motion for it. So Sorry, we will. For. I can withdraw it. Yeah, yep. on. We, Jack withdrew the motion, and I'll withdraw the second. We'll start over. And the motion would be for $25,639.56 for the switch for the jail. Yeah. And the jail generator transfer switch, $7,250. And the other one is for. Roger Fisher's, I'm sorry, for the impound building at $25,639.56. They would both be for Roger. And we uh, would draw them all then because the other ones are from American Glass too. The storage building, is it? Just the one. No, it's, just the, it's just the annex. It's just the annex. Yeah. 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 And the generator is from electrical Don't engineering like equipment. That's the company that fixes it, that maintains yeah. them. That's the place more specialized. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, do you want to make a second motion? Yeah. Motion to approve the, the two. I'll second it again. Any more discussion on the two items for ARPA funds? We will call vote, please. Becker. Yes. Casey. Yes. Platt. Yes. Jack. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yeah. Yeah. Other things that are confusing. This resolution taking the openers off, and um, you guys can stick around a second or eat today you want to. You guys want to vote on the board, go ahead. There's three of you, I'm just not going to. I don't have a problem accepting the low price, but well, I, I think the same person should get bids. Um, and have the standards of what they want. Every, everybody can't go out and get bids from everybody. Did you tell them this bid was 6000 to the company? No, I already said that. Good morning, morning everyone. Spec sheet for that group. Oh, the six thousand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's in there. Too. It, it says two auto operators for one dash int whatever. Can't really read that. And then it says one exterior door with wireless push buttons, twelve volt power to the operators by others. And he said 12 volt power would need to be supplied by someone else and then tossed out of price because he said he had just done them for someone else here recently. So he had to figure right off the top of his head. I never shared what the other number was. So what's you, you got to make sure you, if someone else is supplying the other juice, make sure you get that price included with the bid because it's American Glass doing both things. I believe somebody else is supplying. Both of them. I say because there's a different yeah, yeah, electrician. Yeah. Uh, both of them are going to get electrician supply. Yes, both both would need someone else to supply the power. That's the only thing I told them. I told them it's one two openers. One of them included the electrician. Bill. No, they both said powered by others. I I think Will told me that he got that bid that they that's not with the electrician supplied the power. So everything's getting more high priced. Are you ready, Doug? Whenever you guys are. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Uh, yes, uh, our five-year pro construction program, we have a bridge and in your folder. Um, it's located right to the north and a couple miles east of Wesley on P64. It's in our program. We are planning to let that uh, this December. Um, started reviewing our engineer's estimate and the price that we had programmed for that. And our engineer's estimate is quite a bit higher than what we had money programmed. We had $400,000 programmed. Our estimate is $577,000, $578,000. So I'd like to change, I'd like to amend the program. Uh, this is money that would be federal bridge funds and farm to market funds that does not affect our local money at all. Uh, if we do not uh, amend our program and 
uh, go ahead and let the bridge, we would only be eligible for the amount of federal funds I had programmed. So it's just a formality right now. We did get our agreement on this. Part of this is, uh, this originally was part of the swap program, but now we are moving away from the swap program and going back to uh, complete federal aid. And that is one of the reasons we need to get this taken care of. So I'd like the board to act on the uh, resolution that was attached in here. Forward. Yeah, resolution. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. You have O nine, O six, twenty two, O two. Will be the resolution to increase the amount on the five year program to 600,000. Is that correct? Or? That is correct. Yes. That's a specific branch. So, will the reverse section block up? No, it would be P64. So it goes from Highway 18 north to Titanka. So it goes by Morris's Cattle Setup. That would be correct. Yeah. Right, right on the other corner of Wildlands and Pearson's going up? Uh, this would be the to the north, the of south, south of that, the furthest south bridge. It's B3. That particular stretch of road. Okay. The Gray Farm. The other side is um, Old France. Uh, no, that's uh, that's a box culvert that's already been let. This is this is only about two miles north of Highway 18. That one this is north of the. Okay. The road is a little bit Yeah. The one you're talking. So we just bought by Nygaard's farm. We're just past Nygaard's. Ball farm. Yeah. yeah. There's okay, a this is the north, south one, I mean. To be yeah, this would yeah. be the first south on that particular yeah. stretch. Were they built at the same time, those two bridges? Yeah, those were, all three of those bridges were all built at the same time. Um, that was a DOT yeah. road. Yeah. 226. Correct. New 226. New old. <laughs> Take so, a lot yeah. We have resolution number 09062202 to increase the funding for bridges to 600000 Do I have a motion for that? So moved. Motion by Platt. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Stecker. Any discussion? Hearing not. Do a roll call vote. Second. Yes. Casey. Yes. 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 I'll email that. That's what we should do. Thank you. We did send a motion. So I need to have it better. Could we get that signed by the other table? Thank you. Thank you. Van Lord Dairies next. Yes, uh, we've had a request uh, from Van Lord Dairy. They operate pretty large facility down in the southwest corner of Kasuk County. Uh, they had asked for and received uh, permission for a setback building to the east there, part of the dairy operation, and they are asking uh, for 55 foot from the road right away. This would be for a calf bedding uh, confinement bar. Uh, Iowa Department of Natural Resources requires 100 feet of distance from the road right of way. I do not have any concerns with the road department, but it should be uh, also acted on by the board of supervisors. Well, the parlor's already 50 foot, so. Pardon me? 
right to the east of the house with existing part of his 50 foot, correct? That is correct, yes. And we have a resolution 09062203 to approve the setback. Mr. Casey, would you make that motion? Yes, so I have a motion by Mr. Casey. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion on the resolution? Hearing that, do a roll call vote, please. Second. Yes. Casey. Yes. Clap. Yes. Jeffs. Yes. Motion approved. Signatures again, and again, I will email those to you. Thank you. Interstate power. Construction of the road right away. Yes, uh, interstate power has requested uh, to four underneath of 300th Street from the North Road right of way. Uh, there is some sort of a, a construction of a grade pad that they are boring for uh, electricity there. Nothing is going to be placed in the road right of way. I would recommend that the board approve of this a request for interstate power and light. I would move to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Second by plan. Any discussion on the interstate's proposal? Hearing on all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Signature here, Roger, please. All right, thank you. Yep. All the requests for uh, construction in the road right away. Uh, just to bring up everyone up to date on some construction. The bridge at the big six elevator, they are putting guardrail on today, or they are scheduled to be putting guardrail on today. We've not been up there to verify that. So that should be uh, open. We are going to leave the approaches uh, rock for the winter, let that sit through the winter and settle, get good packed in, and then next year we will come back and uh, pave all of that. Is there a four way stop sign at the intersection? There's two uh, north south roads are stopped. Are you going to? To the east and west, that you're going to put a slow sign bump. We will put bump with speed advisories on that. Yes. Good question. Well, I went through there this weekend, and it was pretty rough going north and south. Well, I didn't go east and west, but I went north and south. That, uh, yeah, we'll have to. I'm sure with some traffic, we're just going to have to maintain that in the first couple of weeks. Make sure that that gets, gets maintained. I will. And hold the bill and make sure that gets done. That bridge got a crown in the middle. Pardon me. That bridge got a crown in the middle. Yes, it. Okay, that, that's why the guardrail looks like that too. The concrete guardrail, because you look at it down the, on the north side, it looks like. Oh. Uh, it is on a vertical curve. Yes. Set the, so uh, I didn't look at the base, but I looked at I'm the gray sure it does. I, yeah. You can see that it was definitely. I have to have to look at that too, but it is on a vertical curve. So yes, the high point would kind of be in. You can't tell you looped it. It looks like it's in the same spot thing there. Really? I couldn't really tell. I thought you were going to move it when you said you're going to move a bridge. Oh, uh, it's been moved. <laughs> it's been moved. Yeah. yeah. You have to trust me to guess. The water's going to go underneath the bridge. Yes. That's that was the plan. <laughs> the Fairfield Road, if anyone's been up there, as far as Kasuk County, everything is done except for seating and uh, traffic markings. So 
they've got everything shoulders brought all up and everything. So I heard it was smooth. Yes, it is. Are you going to take the big six crew and take them down to Irvington now so we can get that one done? Uh, maybe I should <laughs> ask one contractor to donate and the sub out to the other contractor. That was a little slow. The Irvington Bridge, they do have the on the west side. Not as slow as they are over here on Highway 18. Oh, man. They, ain't gonna get, they might not slow. get that done. They're just starting on the south half. Did you ever get to Springer? What's that? For the highway bridge? Highway 169. Yeah. Yeah, that I think is going to get poured this week. Is it? Yes. Oh, so it will get it. done this year. Yes. Uh, four way bridge up at Titanka, they are moving pretty well up there. Um, we have some, we've been taking a lot of photographs of that. So next week, I'll put some photographs of that bridge in there, uh, in your folder, so you get a good idea of what's going on there. We put, they have, we're putting a bridge in there now. Pardon me. Putting a bridge in there now. We're removing a bridge, putting in box folders. So. <laughs> I mean, but it'll be it'll still be defined as a bridge because of the overall length of everything. But uh, no, that's a contractor there. I've never really worked with. I'm impressed with JB Hall. Uh, resurfacing, uh, we are verifying today, but they have told us September 19th is when they're going to be moving in. And then we have the two uh, wind projects going on. So we're watching that. Other than that, that's kind of everything that we have. So How long resurfacing going to take? Two to three weeks. You're going to be crowding right into beam harvest. Yes. So they'll be it'll chastised be. again. Yes. Which road are you going to do first? The north I think they're going to do the one down by Laverne. That's six miles that they did cold in place on. They're going to get up, get up top. Like cold houses, you're talking? Yeah. Terry Cole House. They're going to help okay. And then you're going to do St. Benedict Road east and west, correct? Correct, yeah. And then you're going to do up to uh, Wesley. Or so. That's correct. You've been down on that uh, Galvin front? Yeah. Those bumps I'm talking about were, what is that? It wasn't there until well, they like it sealed it. When they, I think that's where the distributor of oil, and then they backed up and they overlap just a little bit. So they got that that. It's getting better. It seems like yeah, it's going I, a little bit. I thought it was too. I drove it last week. That so first day when they got dealt with it, it was full. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll help. That'll with, with everything. I, I believe so. Sometimes no. those are the. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll be driving that whole circumstances when you go to repair one thing you end up with another unforeseen circumstance. When they get start setting towers, how long does it take that concrete to cure? I'm surprised they're not. I think you can sit I don't been sitting there for I know a good week. I don't know. I I, I, I don't doing. believe the concrete is having any problems. So I think after everything five to seven days, like you said. That's all compressive. That's what concrete is. is that compressive strain. Oh, that one on the Blunson's field. Holy cow, do they got some weights on that bad boy? Yeah. A lot of weights on oh, Have you been up to the ones up at Ledyard? Go buy Those grains or Gregor, whatever you're very large. large. Yes, yeah. those, those are 600 footers, right? Mine are only right. 500. All right. Anything else at all? Welcome back, Jack. How yeah. was your vacation? Wonderful. Everybody should go to see Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a trip. It's probably went like we said, we went to probably never go back again. It's, it's one of those you take it yeah. do it once, you know, once you see one glacier, you know. And it's very beautiful. Good. Weren't you seeing ice? You've seen ice? Yeah. It was good. Good trip. I, yeah. I would recommend it to have, anybody. We don't have any ice in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> not not in the summer. Hey, we're going to have a beautiful winter with no snow. But as long as we get cold temperatures, I'm getting ready. I got the 
I got the itch to go ice fishing. <laughs> that sure tastes better. So, what, the ice or the fish? No, I <laughs> fish through the ice. <laughs> nice cold and firm instead of squishy. No, let's see. I well, got, I got my fall break. fishing lined up, I think. Be back at a quarter after. You're ready for ice fishing. You got your four wheeler all or your side by bot? Not yet. You got one. You got, got a top hand too? As soon as you hear a good deal for me, let me know. It's a good deal. Yeah, I'm always looking for good deals. They're hard to find right now. Boy, they are.
Hey, Jim, it's Kyle. How are you? I'm doing good. I got Dan on the phone and we're going to be starting. Uh, well, we're on break right now, but we'll be back on for drainage. And the first thing will be that agreement with Minnesota. And then we'll be back here in about four minutes at a quarter after nine. So I was just going to get everything set up. If you're able to hang on the line, I'll have you on speed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Let me let me merge the call. He's on right now. So just a second. OK, do we have both of you on here? He might have stepped away from his phone. Oh. No problem. Now you should go down. I talked quite a bit this morning. And I think I understand the business. Yep, and and yeah, and we'll be back in session here in a couple minutes and then we can go through all that. But yeah, that that'll be good to discuss everything. If you guys want to just hang out, I'll kind of have the phone on here and then when everyone's back in, I'll put it on speaker and we can have a discussion from there. So just hang on for a couple minutes and we'll be back. Thanks. That. She's got open on her, so she wants the other to be able to do that. You get your hands on the thing and. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Smiling. She's always smiling. It's because she's a happy person. Most of the time, I have to bring. But I have to say, um, beginning, you know, you guys have probably heard that the nation is wanting a, a recount on the 2020 election, including Iowa. And uh, still, yeah, so I have to do some more research into the Iowa vote, including for a response from the Secretary of State and from Todd Holmes. But um, I've been getting a couple emails about because the code says that, and I have to look at what it says is that we have to or we can't destroy records from the 2020 election after 22 months. So, but um. I've been getting emails requesting other information from the machines that, that the Secretary of State's office says should not be releasing, and then requesting that he not destroy those records. So we're waiting for responses to see. And I have to look and see what the wording is. In the yeah, well, who can request a recount like that? For it, the has, it has to be, well, I think it has to happen each day. Because each state has different ways that they do their elections. What if you only get 30 states to say yeah and the rest say no? Well, 
for those 30 states, I think if it's approved, you would have to do it. Right. So, I, I would think each state has autonomy on that, whether they do it or not. Well, I don't know. This is new to me, so I'm learning, but. Marge? What? You're an expert on elections. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just just think that out loud. So for right now, and your deadline's not up yet, but for right now, not doing anything to those records until they get to work. Yep. Clarification. Okay. General election for the Obama army. But that's Trump and Biden to do it. They still want to get rid of it. Getting used to people requesting names. Not get rid of those records. That's 22 months. Um, and I don't know if it shall be destroyed or can be destroyed. I'll have to. Look. Um, the emails are just, they're not asking for a recount. The emails I've gotten personally are not asking for a recount. They're just asking for them not to destroy the Yeah. But not in the nations. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So just to let you know, and that in case you get any questions or anything, is for right now I'm holding off until I you find out what I'm supposed to do. Well, we have the electoral college yet, so electoral college did take a lot to change those votes. Just don't want to destroy any records. No. So I don't know. I think they ought to get over it myself. Move on. Mark, we have some requests. Do you want to do the landowner first? Do you want to do landowner first? I have um, Dan and Jim had requests to be on the phone for this, so I got them on ready when you guys are. Well, we are ready to reconvene and do drainage. So, what do you have on the landowners? Or I, I got uh, starting on the agreement here. I'll put you guys on speaker to get the whole course of here. Thank you, sure. Just yeah, please stand up. I'm good. Um, so, Dan and Jam. Um, Moving along. You're on. Roger, this is Jim Hudson. Am I on? Yes, you are. Yeah. Can I just make a quick comment? Um, I apologize to everybody that that agreement is so off. <laughs> I didn't really understand the uh, how this district was set up with PD60 sub one. I thought that was just referred to a lateral, but it's not quite right. So. Some of the suggestions that I've received from Kyle and uh, Dan, I think, all should be incorporated and cleaned up. And um, there's not much substance to that, but it just it just makes it the right designation. The other thing that Dan has explained to me is, you know, I looked at four, five, six different concepts for this and. I didn't keep them straight, but we're doing the one that we no longer are going to run any Iowa tile up to and through the Johansson land. That little horseshoe that goes up above the uh, Iowa Minnesota line will be eliminated. So we will no longer run water through Minnesota. We'll bypass it. And I think that needs to be included in the agreement, too. I think he's going to run water. Run up to the middle of the land. Up, no, we're going to give Johansson an outlet okay. by running it to and through that county road. Yeah, they're they're and then he can hook on on the Minnesota side. Minnesota. No, like there used we, to be. but you're right. giving you're giving Minnesota an outlet. Yeah. Yes. So just just basically clarifying that and spelling it out a little bit better. Which I can. Over here so you can, can we call that line the Minnesota lateral, I believe. So it's it's not a final draft by any means. It needs some cleanup, but 
um, and the Johansons. Well, we all kind of got a Friday, so they're going to be looking it over and make sure it's acceptable or if they have any thoughts or whatever to it. But Johansons are still going to. Did you ever get a final number on that dam or dam's not in the phone? Yeah, he's on there. I think it's 80 some thousand. 82, 83. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, I've got the numbers here somewhere, but yes, and, I've sent out a final of, number on that. One of the things that we had discussed was we could potentially have that number be part be figured based off the classification schedule and off the total when it's actually completed because then if we have any change orders, those would be encompassed in it as well, rather than the Iowa site getting the Florida end of the deck there. Now, Dan, that tile, the coefficient on that tile, is that including the acres of Minnesota that are going into it? Yeah. Dan, did you hear that? No, what what was the question? Roger had asked if the coefficient for the tile was figuring the Minnesota acres. Yes. So. Yeah. Johansson's could upgrade that to get a half inch coefficient on their farm and then the main tile is still handle it. Yeah, because I think it goes through the road at a is it an 18. And then on the other side of the road, it's a 24 for Eisman's and then drops down to the main. So, yep. That's correct. It's built to handle theirs. Yep. The total amount for Johansson's at this point is $86,266.33. Can you repeat that, Dan? 86? 86 yep, $86,266.33. Dan, Dan, explain to the board exactly what that means. And I need to hear it again. Yeah, that's no problem. Um, so I tried to get as close to an all in cost as I could. Um, so that's including um, a quickly, quickly calculated interest. That's including bid cost. That's including engineering uh, both before and after. Um, that's including some legal costs, um, televising. I also added in a 5% contingency on that. And it includes the amount that we are going to deduct from their total bill at the end of the day. And to explain that further, the portion they'd be getting deducted is for the tile that we will not build in their farm on the Minnesota side. We're only crossing the road. Yep, tile that we would have had to build yep. had we gone all the way through their farm. <laughs> and, and I will include in the agreement that we're going to abandon the tile that is there. Yeah, I think that is in the agreement now. So Johansson still need an agreement that they can use the tile in Iowa, though. That's what this agreement would yeah. be. Because we'd provide the outlet across the road and they would hook into it. Yeah. I want to explain to the board too. I I won't go down bunny trails, but quite frankly, Johansson is not in the state of Iowa. He is not legally a part of this drainage district. And what we're doing is being a nice guy to him to let him hook into our system. But it's the best we can do because we're crossing a state line. So if our Iowa landowners on the board happy with that, how we do it, that's just fine. Well, all the and Iowa I, landowners wanted them to help pay for it, so that's the whole point. So they're going to help. 
future yeah. maintenance, Johansson is still going to pay any future maintenance on his allocated share. How can you yeah. justify that if he's not in the district? That's what the repair. If he doesn't pay for repairs, I say we just disconnect him. And that's and that's where that would that's in this agreement. And legally we can't just disconnect them right now because the tile was in there previous with nothing on paper. So we're setting it up for the future. I didn't think you could disconnect him once that he's been connected to it. Yeah, under Iowa law. But, but he's not subject to Iowa law. He's going to be subject to what we say in this agreement. Exactly. It, it changes the rules on it, basically. That's splitting some hairs and parts and some words. And Dan and I have discussed this too. This is all tile. So we don't anticipate any anything being done for what, 30, 40, 50 years? 100. Hopefully 100, but yeah. For 30 years from now, uh, kind of like, what's the difference? Someone else can worry about it then. Well, I'm trying to kick the can down the road, but I want to get it as good as we can right up front. Yeah. And suggest how to do it in the future. And if you want to buy it in the future, it won't be uh, Doug and Steve. I don't think it'll be their next owners. Yeah. Their heirs. So. You're going to have it done by next week, or what's the plan? Well, everybody wants Johansson to have some input. Yep. And apparently he's, he's on vacation. When he gets back, he wants to have some input. Okay. And I'm assuming he'll contact Kyle or Dan or me, somebody. Then the board's going to have to decide if his input is good or bad. Jim, just the minor thing, but on number eight, uh, there's a typo there. Uh, water. Oh. The eyes looking. There's typos all through that. Yeah, I they... pushed my secretary so hard to get it out. That's why I'm apologizing. I know it needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, there's there's several things. Kind of, I guess, kind of the point of having it on the agenda here and everything is to make sure everyone on the boards in favor of the intent of the agreement and we'll move forward with cleaning it up and fine tuning Whatever it. Whatever you find today, please mark it up on a copy and it's marked each. I want to fix all those typos. I do not want anything like that. Okay. So, a couple things. Uh, Johansson did email, send out an email, and I also had a phone call with them. Um, it sounds like they would be they'd be willing to uh, get on any any changes they want with in the agreement either today or tomorrow. Um, so they they should be back on it here pretty quick. Um, and then the, the two points that they wanted to talk about in the agreement was one in regard to the maintenance, uh, just as we talked about. Um, I told them that we that we definitely wanted to have um, have them paying for future maintenance, um, and also that the likelihood of needing that would is pretty low for the near term. That would be a long term thing. Um, and then the second thing that they wanted to talk about was. Um, what all is included in the agreement in terms of land. Now, if you look at the original district, the original district only included uh, fields that were on the south quarter of that section. Uh, so the southeast, southwest, south, uh, the, the two southwest quarters, quarter quarters and uh, 
one of the southeast quarter quarters. Um, there is one field just to the north of that that is part of the watershed that does have surface water draining towards our district. Now, I did not include that field in the pre-classification schedule. However, it does show up on one of the exhibits. Um, so they would like to have that land included in the agreement. But uh, in my mind, if if we want to do that, then we probably ask for more money for that as well. Um, but I wanted to bring that up to the board and, and see what your thoughts were on that. Um, and we can figure out which direction to go with the agreement. Well, if I was Johansson's, I'd take all the water I could down to this new tile. But we might as well charge for everything we can. Why well, wouldn't you, Dan? I mean, considering you have a good coefficient on this tile, and I have no idea what to have going north, probably not as much. So probably. if I was going to tile anything, I'd put everything to the larger coefficient. See, I'm just looking at some aerials to the north. I feel like there might have been a ditch or something. So they have, they have no idea. They've got a surface waterway to the north, but I don't know if they have a ditch. You're going to have to figure that out, Dan. Figure what out? What What would be appropriate for Johansson's if they wanted to improve their drainage? Well, yeah, so we want to spell that out in the agreement. Um, right. You know, because we don't want the, if it's outside of the watershed, we certainly don't want them tying into it. Inside the watershed, do we, there's another oh, five or six acres that they could potentially tie in. So do we want to allow those acres in um, and charge them extra for it? Or do we want to just, just uh, have it set set up as the pre-classification schedule was, was set up? This is, this is Jim. I think we should just follow exactly what we do in Iowa for classification. When we know that there is land outside the district or even within it, that they're just with you, this gets surface water, that's all we assess. So we've got five acres of sur surface water that we haven't made any assessment for. I think that needs to be included up front. Then if we discover later on that Johansson puts tile in and brings tile water into our system, then I think that needs to be altered and the assessment uh, change. Don't know how we're gonna know that, but those, some of those landowners with the eyes on the ground. And I think it happens all over the place. If you're in the drainage district paying an assessment for benefits, you're entitled to bring as much water as you can into the district facility. It sounds like I've just gone in a circle and basically I have it. We can only charge them upfront for what is in existence today. And if it adds tile to it, that extra 40 acre tract is all going to be included in the, the assessment area. So we only assess the 5.3 acres that there's a benefit. So if it brings in more tile, we'll assess him for that. Does that make sense? Yep, I'm fine with that. Yep. Okay. Right, so we'll, we'll go ahead and add those those five, six acres on there. Uh, I will work on getting a number to that as quickly as I possibly can. Um, we'll get that worked into the agreement. Okay. All right. Sounds um, good. So 
So then the gym for expediency sake, is this something that we'll need to bring is the we're going to go back and rework the agreement a little bit. Is this something that we're going to need to bring to the full board uh, to get approved? Or is this something that like uh, Kyle or Roger could do? Or uh, what would that look like? Well, if the, if the board is in agreement today and tells us how they want it done, then I say we're done. You don't need any more review. If anything's different, and I, I know Johansson kind of wants to talk about future maintenance. Well, he needs to understand and be convinced that uh, this is how we do it for everybody. Everybody in the district pays a chunk of the main because they use the main ultimately as their outlet. And people on a lateral pay for that lateral. And that's how we're setting this up. Just exactly how we do it when it's all in Iowa. Yep. Okay. And if he doesn't, you know, I, I got to be the pointy headed lawyer. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't need to use our drainage system. He can run it up north. So basically, he he's. He's going to have a separate lateral on the main. Yeah, there there is a Minnesota lateral, so that's yeah. what he'd be getting charged. He'll, he'll for. be charged on a Minnesota lateral to the main and the main. Yeah. Yep. yep. It makes sense. That's exactly. I mean, if, if we did have the state line involved, that's exactly how we would do it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Do you guys have any questions or thoughts, concerns? So today you would want a motion from us to approve a tentative agreement with the Minnesota landowners. Is that what you're looking for, Dan? Well, Jim? What do you think, Jim? Yes. Yeah. And if Johansson doesn't agree with what Dan and Kyle and I and other board members have suggested today, then we'll have to bring it back to the board for review. Okay. You don't have to sign off until you're comfortable, Roger. Yeah. Yeah. So I know. That there's well, they're not. We're not ready to sign them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we wouldn't be ready to sign it today. I would say it'd just be a concept is yeah. on the right track. So we could get something to the board by next week or Katie or in two weeks, either way. Do you want Johansson to sign first or do you want to sign it? If, why don't we give you permission to do an agreement with Johansson and then it'll be brought back to the board to approve it? Okay. Yeah. That, that makes the most sense. I would yeah. So I, um, I would make a motion that we have our attorney, Mr. Hudson, draw up an agreement with Johansson to be brought back to the board for approval. You want to say finalize the agreement? Because he's already yeah. got it drawn up. We'll just do it that way and we'll finalize it when we. I'll when second we that. May, I don't know, maybe Johansson should sign it first and we know it's done. Right. But we're the ones yeah. in the driver's seat. Yeah. But yeah, I like Jack's suggestion too that way. And then when we approve it, it's done. Because then. Yeah, that's true. Then the, then the attorney can. Now, can yeah, answer that. Against the deadline with, uh, in terms of. How long are big problems to look good for? Correct. Okay. So we should do it. Maybe if you can have it by next Tuesday, it'd be good. And we don't we, have a meeting next Tuesday. Well, we don't have a meeting next Tuesday. That's right. We don't have a meeting next Tuesday, so we'll have to have it in two weeks. What is the what is the deadline date? Well, that'd be wouldn't that be four weeks from the bid letting at our next meeting? Okay. Let me take a minute and look that up here. So if we if we voted 
to move forward with the agreement like we're talking is that good enough to go forward with the project and keep things moving that way the project is separate from the determination from the minnesota in some respects because if they want to do the project they're going to do the project well because yeah the, i guess it all depends upon the money coming from minnesota yeah I mean, for the most part, yes, but their money was the factor and it was one of the factors in it. Sure. But I don't know. I mean, I, my, I guess my understanding from day one was that none of the landowners, none of the Iowa landowners were going to be interested unless Bill Hansons were in. That could be correct, but we can't really. We're okaying a project with money that might come from Minnesota. It makes the whole thing a little bit convoluted. Go ahead and see if they can get that done with Johansson. Up within two weeks, that's going to make everybody's deadline. Good. I don't. Sure. When did we do the? Dan, have you have you calculated that date yet? That was two weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Still look at that. They re to get a quote on plastic tile, and that happened two weeks ago. Didn't that? Correct. That was two weeks ago. That paper does not have it. Good for 30 days. Yeah. yeah. Well, we should be good by two days. Yeah. No. August, August 23rd. Yeah. Exactly. September yeah. 20. Or within the 30 days. Yeah, so it'd be four weeks on the dot. Yep. The 20th of September would be the fourth so Tuesday. You, she got 28 days. Mm -hmm. So it's a 30 day bid. We should, yeah. be, we're good. Should be okay. Yeah. Who's going to complain if it's a day or two off? Kyle. Do I have a second to the motion? I, I did. Okay. Do you want um, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. So go ahead. Get her done. Um, good job, guys. You need anything else, Dan? No, nope, that ought to do it. Okay. Make sure you put them other five acres in. That way we have it in there. Yep. Yeah. Um, Thank you, guys. Do we think your hands are going to do something this week still? Yes. I think so. Dan, yeah, I'm out of the office all day Thursday this week. We're we're going to continue with our meeting. If you guys want to talk or whatever later on, that's perfectly fine. But we got a couple other things here. Sounds good. Thank you both. Bye. So now we're up to drainage repairs. I got one question. Like when who pays Hudson on this drainage district? Who pays who pays for Hudson for this called the drainage district? Drainage right? district does. It's specifically for that. If it's a general discussion with the board, then the board papers with the drain country is for. Yeah, it's for, for this project specifically. That's jeans. Yep. Yeah. Did he get hold here? Did he? Did he eventually? He did, and it's a private. 
Jerry Nine is the trustee. Jerry knew his history. So I gave him the trustee. Yeah, he's been talking to me. He goes, well, we bypassed it. So why don't we just leave it crushed and bust? And I said, well, who's the people on the other end of it? Yeah. Oh, I never thought of that. But we just put two mains alongside that main. I don't care. You're still going to pay for it. Oh, my God. Okay. So it is the trustee. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had one drainage request from Gene Thompson. It's in Lots Creek. They had a large hole. And I told Gene to fix it. So Gene taken care of. So Gene's doing it. Kyle, you had a couple? Yeah. Forty-two is from Bill Birdie to um, install a cattle crossing on four, like the one for diet rings. And 43 is from Darlene Ray. And I'm, I'll have to go talk to him because I'm not sure if this is on That's drain four or lateral 11. It's in 84, but I'm not sure if it's the main open ditch or lateral 11. It looks like lateral 11 and they're still in the project right now. So I'm, not sure, but I'll check that out today. Well, actually, both of them are still in the project, so I mean, I don't know if there's really anything to do here, but um, assuming that the contractor has leveled the spoils, that's what it looks well, like. On on the open ditch on four, I know they're long ways past that on leveling stuff out for the initial stuff, but on Lateral 11, I'm not sure the status there. So, I don't think anything that happened while they started yet on 11. I, I'm not 100% sure either. I, last but, time I looked, they hadn't yet. So, but either way, they're both in the middle of projects and neither of them are completed yet. So, I guess what do we need to do about that? Um, Send it to the engineer. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll I'll figure out which project it's for because that determines who's in the near term. But you should have told Dan if it started on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask him. Yeah, call Dan if that's if they haven't started on it. Then it's got to be four. But. The main, the main open ditch doesn't go into section 18 at all. It doesn't? No. But Ray's got ground on four there. Yeah, they have, they have ground along both. Yeah. To me, I think it's along the open ditch, but I don't don't know for sure. I'll have to drive back there and look at it. I've had people tell me the wrong section number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, it could be the wrong section number. Yeah. No, I'm just, just saying. Uh, do I have a motion for the supervisors to handle their requests? So moved. Well, second. Motion by Plan, second, second I'll, by AP. Or the other way around, whoever wants it. Casey made the motion. Yeah. Any more discussion on uh, drainage repairs? If not, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimous. I got a question on drainage, Mr. Stecker. I was told last week that I was wrong. It's if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll deal with it. I mean, I can take enough land. You told me that section of cavers was done. I was there yesterday and I have pictures of drainage pipes laying all over. Had you seen them? I've seen you drive down there last night, turn around by the bridge and come back. Yeah, I did. Why are the pipes still out there? They'd like to know why the pipes are still out there. I'll have to ask. Ace. And that one, but, that old one right by the bridge, that was in good enough shape. That's what you didn't place that, correct? Yeah, the, the, north. the engineers are keeping everything that is um, decent. Yeah, and anything that does not need to be replaced is staying. Like I said, I was told it's completely done. And it's, as far as pipes being installed. And Lane's like, well, why are the pipes still out there? Yeah. The project's done in my area, get them out of there. So I'm just. Well, you know, I, didn't, I didn't say cleanup was done, but I said the pipes were installed through there. Where they got the long reach south of there? He's still putting stuff in. 
about a mile south of there, he's got the Long Reach sitting there where you're going east and west on that road. You know, you go past the uh, yeah bridge on the south side. He's got his Long Reach sitting there. I thought that was all done. Oh, that no. he has everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he has to get my grandkids. So, that's really yeah, that would have been for the cattle crossing. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate that waiver conflict. Okay. Jack, 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 Jack,
it might be out at the hospital, but I'm not sure. Okay. That's and they may have changed that too, but I know I know it was out at the hospital previously. Uh, or they had meetings and stuff out there anyway, but I don't I don't know for sure. Okay, and then the what he's invoicing for is county dues and trailer dues. So is the county paying dues to the EMS Association? Exactly. Because right now the city is the EMS Association. The EMS Association would be independent from the city even. It would be. But the city is still in charge of the EMS. So you just hire a bill. Those county dues would be on do. But yeah, I have the same problem sending it to that address. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that it'd be two plus two separate entities that would not be using a, a county address. As I'm concerned, we hired Bill to oversee the EMS. Yeah. As far as it's still the city of office We can talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk with Bill. Because before we looked at, it was Brian's Bryce address and Bert. And then there's another whatever set we sent them to prior. Whoever's head of the EMS, yeah. which wouldn't be Phil. I think. Unless, unless he has the head of it now, I don't know. Did the city hire Penton for something with EMS? I thought, yeah, Penton. But he was in charge of the city and Phil was in charge of the county, wasn't it? Yeah, but the association's not through either. They should be separate. They had something on the radio this morning, something about they're going to vote on EMS tonight being essential. But I heard the city's got some meeting tonight. I don't know. Oh, the city oh. council? Yeah, something on that. They were going to have something tonight at the city council meeting for, they said something about EMS as essential service. I thought, isn't that what the election is? Are they doing something independent of ours? That's what didn't make sense to me. I thought that's what the election next week's about. Or no. What that mean? Yeah. I was lost on that one. Okay, and then reminder, no meeting next week because we have a special election for the Algoy and the Burns School District. We're gonna have withdrawal. We'll have withdrawal, not going to do a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to be in two places at one time. So we want to have a meeting next week. And then, as you've noticed, the roofers are finally here, um, finally getting our roof done. Um, hopefully the weather holds out so they can get it done in a week. It's raining the end of the week. Yeah, it's talking rain Friday, Saturday, Friday, Friday night. Oh, well, that'll be nice. And then um, the road out here will be tore up a little bit, and Paul Street will be tore up. They're going to be redoing the entrance into the parking lot. Also, so there will be a time when the whole parking lot will be closed, but I don't know what that date would be. We were just hoping it wouldn't be while they're fixing the road. So, um, Are people gonna park. Hopefully, they get the street done before the taxes are due because there's a lot of people parking out there. It's not supposed to take very long, and then we're taking the county's taking out the sidewalks and reforming the sidewalks. So, um, that would be handling the roads. Control for sidewalk, they got bad, is it? Oh, it is. They, and they figured now that the curb is coming out is the time to replace the sidewalk. So. Yeah. yeah. So, and then that's all of it I have. Employee handbook. Yeah, that's Wednesday, right? I'm so mixed up on my days because we went for yesterday. But yeah, that is tomorrow. And on the 20th, I guess we have for that fog confinement for Springfield 24 sites. What was, on your, what was it the computer today? Huh? It was on the computer day in the computer. Yeah. yeah. Your calendar? 
No, it's in the. It was in the packet. It just what? wasn't on the agenda. You went above the packet where there's Doug and this and this, and you could punch in. There's a Springfield. It was there. But as that was warned, it was there, but it wasn't on the paper. It wasn't on the agenda. And maybe it was originally scheduled. Okay, that's all. So next week we're not going to be here. Well, you can come if you want, but we well, probably will. Otherwise, we'll be lonesome or something. Yeah. Kyle, will you have anything no. last week? I won't be lonesome to you, Jack. <laughs> yeah, I had third judicial district meeting over in Sioux City. Um, for a director's reports had a paper here with supervision bubbles per county. Had that all broken down, right? Like, I guess we're. I would say we're comparable to our neighbors and stuff. Um, maybe even a little bit lower. Um, probably the highlight of the meeting, there was quite a bit of discussion around it, was um, around drug courts and a um, drug court officer for those which the officer we hire and run through this uh, Department of Correction. Over in Clay and Dickinson, they have judges that are willing and interested in wanting to set up a drug court over there. Right now, we currently have drug courts in Woodbury and Plymouth, which Woodbury has a, a huge caseload compared to everyone else, but that's Sioux, most of Sioux City. Um, so the, the conversation around Dickinson and Clay starting it up was the cost for this other position, which we have enough local funds um, from supervision income to do that and carry that. And there's not really any issues there, but basically the conversation re revolved around how can we expand this and get this out to other places because so far it has been very successful in the areas that it's been used. So um, John Fluth was the one from Emmett that was there, and we were talking about trying to meet with our judges, sheriff, county attorneys and stuff, and see what we could do, because the three of us, for Kasuth, Emmett, Palo Alto, would have pretty much identical caseload to what Dickinson and Clay would have. So if they have one position for those two counties, we could potentially have one for our three and expand that out. So. Otherwise, went over financials, said pretty good that way. A lot of the budget is state funding. So. Mr. Casey? Oh, it's several, several calls in that pipeline. And after the meeting, I'm going to call that. I got to call uh, Barry Simpson. I got to call my landlord. Uh, Arndifer and another one because they are on there that says that they signed and I am pretty sure they did not sign. And then when I find out from them, then I'm going to call that Christine Paradise that sent that email to Tammy and ask her where she got her information until it's false. If, so that's that exhibit H is not saying who signed up. The, Email that she sent us from Tammy says anybody in the red has gave easement. It says it right there. Bunch of Tammy's email on Thursday on the CO2 pipeline. And it says anybody in the red has signed easement. Mm -hmm. and the people have. Uh, Thursday that came. Thursday CO2 from Tammy. Yeah, has been obtained. Yeah. yeah. In the red. And then you punch yeah. on the map and those people have not signed. I was shocked that I thought that was in Exhibit H form. Her email says attached with the updated Sioux County map showing easements obtained by Summit County. Oh, no. 
Hang on a second. Yeah, so Casey, you got an easement signed already. Um, my two of the farms I farm, yeah. Yeah. Which I guarantee you, that it's not signed. He was definitely but see, that the heading on there is exhibit H, and that's not what exhibit H is. So I don't know. I don't know why she put that in the text of her email, but that's not an exhibit H. Exhibit H is the ones they're requesting eminent domain for. So it's I think it's the exhibit H. The very top heading of that page it says sub and carbon. Summit Carbon Solutions LLC Exhibit H, Kasuth County Overview Map. Well, it says so, right in here, note that the red indicates the easement has been obtained. Yeah, it's that's not the case. Exhibit H is their request for eminent domain. So that's the people that are sure. drop dead guaranteed they won't even respond to the company for the most part. I mean, that's yeah. what everyone else has kind of said it's and there's there's others that will say they haven't agreed to an easement but if they still answer the phone they won't request eminent domain yet why are some in black and some in blue it's kind of the names i don't know i don't know it's probably just to because dirt saber he's in blue and he's in black and in black again probably just so they're not all overlapping on each other and then they skip like Wildens and this and this. He's definitely against it. But if he keeps answering the phone, they'll keep trying to talk him into it. Yes. Or if he visits with them in person, who knows? But that's definitely a request for eminent domain. What, Exhibit H? Exhibit H is requesting eminent domain to the IVP. I should have a lot more names on there then because you go to the East then and that's. Uh... But here's the that's yeah that's definitely not easements not from everything i've been told Denny readers yeah it does jump on the north side of that creek roger it that's goes easy. around the county pit <laughs> at uh where it says 170th street he's got they got a jump the tongue four months above four mile creek then drops back in yeah they even got it jutting a little further over there No, like I said, I was going to call and talk to her, see what. what I, I'm going to call the people first, so I got my ducks in a row. I don't want to talk uh, misspoken. I a couple questions on all the wind towers. I just told it's dumb. Things are running around with drugs. I had a guy tell me. Talking the cement trucks ain't stopping. He about got hit two or three times. I told him you contact Doug Miller. He's the engineer. He's the one that was in contact with them. He was going to get hold of Doug down. They says Doug does call him and normally he gets they they talk to the people real quick. I know they did on the last job. Yeah. They sell cameras set up. I supposed to. don't see any of my area now. And now this one, this is a different outfit. They have a sign in front of every highline wire that warns you how high the wire is with the actual voltage. Feet, the feet above it. Yeah, they got those up in there too. Yeah, our short last time they didn't have them. But different outfit. Well, if this map was accurate, you're doomed as far as doing anything. <laughs> yeah. It's not accurate though. Well, I, I would say it's probably accurate to what it's representing because it's not representing the red for eminent domain. They got a lot of eminent domains that are Yeah. I know of three people that's presented. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, it's, I think some of them signed it. And they're in red. I thought the only names they released are the people that signed it. That's what this was for. That's so that, that you could my read understanding. it. You could read it and then you know if your neighbor signs and then right. you'd think, okay, maybe I should sign because they sign. But they're putting the wrong names down. That's what my landlord called me a week and a half ago to say, I didn't sign. I got my name on that list and I did not sign. 
I could be wrong, but I, from what I've been told, I'm pretty sure that Exhibit H is having a domain request. Last Tuesday, Barry Simpson called me. He wanted to know why his neighbors were stabbing him in the back. And I go, what do you mean? Well, they're on that list. And they told me they didn't. I said, my neighbor, my landlord did not sign. I don't know. Not the way I, that I read this map. So. Anything else, Mr. Casey? Next Monday, I got NICOG. Then I'll tell you about that. Uh, oh, maybe. Jack? No. I didn't have nothing last week. Tammy, you got anything else? Yeah. I'll declare the meeting adjourned at 10 12. Oh, Tammy? Yeah. My question's to hey. Eric. Oh. He still has the owl on. As long as the owl's on, we're not going to talk about anything. On a backache? Can we talk about that? <laughs> Getting old. Ah. <laughs> what better happen out there? He was at the farm with me on Saturday and Sunday, so I had 400 pound character weights. And so I grabbed the first one. She's like, is that heavy? Yeah. Let me help you. So she grabbed half and I grabbed half. Damn, they get light out. <laughs> Come down all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Okay. I think I'm coming back. I'll talk to you. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be here for this. Oh. I thought it didn't matter because oh. that would be interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What? Don't run your wheels off. Yeah. I'm already wobbly. <laughs> <laughs>